Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting all of the teddy bear locations as a version 1.4 into just one big video. I figured it's going to be easier than, you know, doing separate videos like I did for Louisiana and the other three that were changed between the previous version and the current version. And, um, yeah, no, just figured, let's put them all into one video, um, just so it's all in one place. No one has to, you know, go hunting for it anywhere. And what I'll do is I'm going to be showing off how to get to those bears from each war point. And keep in mind, this is in this is considering you finish the game and, you know, everything's accessible. So with that being said, um, so this, is, and this is an old save file. Um, I don't think I've collected any of the bears on this one. I just, this was my um, Immortal Voodoo Warrior save file, so I just skimmed through it um, just to, you know, be the game with one one life, if you will. Anyway, um, I'll go through each of them. So we're going to go to Louisiana first. Now, I know I already showcased this in a separate video, but I'll just, I'll go back through it. So... It's, yeah, again, it's all on the one. Now, I'll, I'll grab the torch out because that's going to be really handy. Now, let's go back. And we want to head over to the little shed that's in the back of the church. Now, yeah, just make sure that that door's open because if it's not, then how in the world are you going to get up to the roof? <laughs> um, so let's, let's hop up and not fall off. I am not good at this. I thought I'd learned my lesson, but apparently not. Alright, here we go. As I say that... Alright, take two. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now, same biz, head up to the church roof, that's where it used to be, and yeah, as I said in the my other video, pop down here, middle of that roof, I guess not, round two, there we go, that's what we want. Now, as I said in the other video, just hug the walls here until you get to this mask. Um, the mask here indicates the corner of which um, the invisible floor ends, and we want to jump over to where that table is right there. So let's do a quick jump. Made it first try, thank god. Um, hop on the table, hop on the roof here, and we want to get to this little peak up here. As I showed before, um, the bear's up in their corner, so let's unequip, and we want to do the, um, the high jump technique. What I worked out is I've done this all... Um, across other parts of Shadow Man, and it only seems to work on here. This is my observation. Maybe I have just haven't explored it far enough. But anyway, so let's do the same thing. So we do a big jump, and then as we're going down, we'll hold the A button again. So there we go. Climb up the top there, and we got the bear. All right, welcome to Mordant Street, New York. So I just want to make it clear, um, this is where the bear point is, so we'll come over this way. Now the bear location is, um, is on the outside. You'll find a couple of dogs there with a big gate. So right here. Shoot that open. Got the dogs here. Well there's another one further up, but that's the main one you want to worry about. Uh, hop on here. It's a bit, it's a bit hard. So yeah, hop on that lock. S slightly move up as you're jumping for that second one, and just land on the, on the edge here. Hop on the roof there, and we want to climb. Well, climb, jump that fence. There we go. Don't go too far. I don't know what the boundary is, but we want to go around. Um, just go through this little alley here, and then take that first left. And the bear is right at the end there, you can sort of make it out. Come on, 
Alright, so for Gardale County Jail, um, you're honestly better off just porting over to the Cathedral of Pain and heading through the middle door here to get to the, um, you know, where you access the level from the get-go. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I need to remember where I'm going, but I just figured it's easier going from the start than backtracking from where the point is right before the boss fight. All I do know is that it's on, like, it's on the outside. And I think it's in Sector 2, so we'll go through Sector 1 here. Now, I believe we want to go through here. No... Want to go up? That's what we want. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna take care of these guys now, so they're not bothering me. Anyway, let's hop on this barrel here. Now, don't climb up, like, facing the wall here. You want to face away from this back one. And you want to climb up to where, um, where that light is. There we go. And just sidestep, and we're all set. And we want to ride this railing here. And you'll make out the bear just right in front. From there, we just walk through, and we've got it. Welcome to London. That was a terrible impression, I apologise. <laughs> um, Alright, so we're at the bear point. Um, we want to head over, well, just in the general direction. We don't want to go backwards, only forwards. And just literally just keep following it through until um, you get to an area where you can see the train going through. Let's take care of that dog. Okay. I believe it should be down here. Not quite. Um, <laughs> Alright, head through the train here. Cut through and head through the little door. Now I think this is where it should be. Yep. So you see the train come through this way, that's all good. Um, we want to progress over to the other side. So right here. Um, climb up on to the barrels, you want to head over to this very end of one here. And there's a little invisible, um, I guess, patch of nothingness. So we just want to jump through that. If you if we're able to. Okay, so it's right there. There we go. Um just for reference, just the very, very right hand side. Um we're gonna head over to the left now. Uh, make sure you don't go right, there's nothing there and you'll be you'll be heading that way for a while. But at the very end here you'll find the bear just sitting on the floor on the right. Welcome to the summer camp. Now, I know I'm at the bear point, but honestly, we're better off just heading back to the Cathedral of Pain. And we want to go th from the entranceway. 
Now you've got to make sure that you've got um, both of the little doors open um, when you get to the, I guess, the reception area. I don't really know what else to call it. Um, you'll see what I mean when we get to it. Wait, do I not have the torch? Okay. Oh, because I'm... I'm dumb. They realize that's all live side and I'm still on dead side. <laughs> Alright. Yep, so head over to the entrance to the summer camp and we just progress like, you know, you would normally with the level. Get that torch. There we go. Take a left and just head through the alligator mouth in there. That's after here is the area where the bear is. And you'll see what I mean by the two doors, so left and right there. So normally, um, yeah, they're, they're shut. Either way, um, it doesn't really matter which door you take, um, but just make sure you can like hop onto it. The same way that we did um, in the Mordant Street Bear, but take a jump. Um, don't, don't, don't jump forward when you're doing a big jump. Just like sort of keep it there. Do one single jump. Oh, hang on. Or just yeah, do that. Um, However, however way it works to get up there. But anyway, um, if you came from the left, um, don't head over to the alligator side. You want to go the opposite way. So it's both left and right, whatever. Um, hop on this big roof here and hang on, get the torch up. You can see the bear right there. Alright, welcome to Salvage Yard, aka Marco's Yard. Um, the bear is literally just where the location is where you come to the level from Luke's teddy bear. So take a left, and it's just this next area. Now we want to side, side roll along, well, here. It may take a few tries to, to get to it, like I'm struggling right now. But eventually, I'll I'll cut it until I do get to it. All right, that'll do it. If you need help with that, um, so side roll along this back wall here, and then heading over to the right, and then to sort of solidify yourself between these two containers and just, yeah, jump onto this one. Anyway, now that you've got up top, um, we're gonna head over to where that brown container is. So take a jump here, up here, and finally up here. Now, Luke's bear is right there. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it here because in case the bears move, I'll keep the save file um, how I had it before, starting at the engine block without collecting any of the bears. Um, yeah, so when they updated, they've moved everything, I'll be ready to update all that. But anyway, um, yeah, best method is just save it here, and if you do fall down, then, you know, at least you're insured. So, take a jump. I forgot that was grabbable, <laughs> but anyway, there's the bear. Now, that's all of the live side... Um, yeah, all of the live side, live side bears. Now, everything else is all dead side, so... With that said... Um, so, there's nothing in the Pass of Shadow, it's just um, Marrow Gates. Well, these are, these are all connected, but, you know, whatever. So, head over to the Marrow Gates. Um, is there a cutscene here?
Oh my god, I, that, was, that was a mistake. Alright, cool. That's not too far from here. It's the first, um, first main area. I got that ready because there's going to be somebody jumping out right there. And we don't want to deal with that. Or that. You know what, just take care of all these guys. Alright, that's all good. Um, Alright, so how to get to the bear is we want to ride this rope here to the other side. And by that I don't mean just, you know, climbing up top here. We, well, latching onto it like that. We want to go up the top. Also, you are still around. Alright, that's done. Um, this may take a few tries, but just hop on to this vase here. Like that. And then literally just jump to the top of the rope. Not over. Make sure it's enough so it'll um it'll make you stick the landing. Like that. So there you go, like you can't move anywhere, you're all secure. Just he head over to the other side and you wanna jump on the rock above. There we go. Um now you may fall a couple of times, so feel free to save from here. Um especially if you're not very comfortable doing this all in one go. I sorry, I'm distracted by <laughs> the flying enemies there. I want to jump over the side. And you'll see the bear just in the little corner in front of us, so let's head straight to that. There we are. Now what was next? It was Temple of Life. Alright. Um, I'll need to refresh myself real quick on how to get that, but um, when I do, I'll cut a, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll cut the video to, you know, where I've spawned and we should be golden. Alright, so you know how I said that um, it was going to be at the bear point? I lied. Um, we're better off going to the start of the level. I only progressed through the first shadow gate. So this one right here, and then don't don't jump down, just head straight. Yeet. Skip all that. Alright, sweet. Now it doesn't matter left or right which way you go. Um, I'm gonna go right personally. Only because these flying bitches are gonna be bitches. Oh, it's making me aim at the um the fish. On Alright, that's that. I think that's it. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm going to climb up this waterfall here. So, as I said, um, this is assuming you've made it through most, if not all, of the levels. You've unlocked all the abilities. Um, so, yeah. So, climb up here. We want to go to the little hut. That's toward the end. Now, same biz, just get rid of these enemies, because they're going to be a nuisance. Wait for this one to come down. There we go. Now, the old method was to climb up here and then make your way up to the top. However, they've, um, they've patched it out, so um, things that were climbable that shouldn't have been climbable are no longer climbable. Uh, that I've I said that word too many times, but anyway, um, same biz at Salvage Yard. We want to side roll up to the top here. Now it should be a little bit easier. 
okay, when you do eventually get up there, <laughs> um, do save it because if you do fall, it's going to be a pain to get back up. So, it's a bit hard to make out, at least for me, but there's a... So on the other side, you can jump up and you won't slide over. So let's jump over there. There we are. Just walk over, um, cr jump up to the stuff above, and then we want to ride along this side here. Jump over. Yeah, that's cool. And just sort of hug this big rock here. There we go. And just right there, you'll find the bear. Alright, so if you skipped along, um, we're at Asylum Gateways, um, we're going to head down to the right here. Now make sure we've got the um, ability to walk on the... Like, just on here, like that. If you die, then that's your own fault. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so head over to the side. Um, now there's there's a little bit... Yes, yeah, so it's right there. See it, how it's not colliding? Whereas... That is. So climb up, and that's an invisible wall. Now, if we progress further, you'll find the bear right there. Uh, okay, again, dead side. I can't use a torch. But that's very, very easy. Um, halfway through now, we'll go to the experimentation rooms. Um, you know what? I've forgotten. No, I've not forgotten. Alright, well this one is going to take a little bit of backtracking, it's not the end of the world, um, but it's better off than if you're coming from the beginning, and honestly I don't want to put you through that, so... Alright, so we're in the experimentation rooms, um, now this is my second take of it, I actually... The recording that I've done in between, well, so everything else apart from this particular section, I did in the one take, um... This one, however, I've had to open the game again and redo because I found... Like, I went I went the long way. Um, so I'm going to go through the short way. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, let's go straight. Don't go through any of these crossed doors. Head over to this one on the left here, down the end. And just keep progressing as normal. Now, we're going to take a left here and go down this little passage. And this will take us back to the, the fiery area that we just passed. There we are. Um, now, we'll do some platforming to get over to where we need to go. Or, you know what? Let's drop down. This in itself is a bit of a time saver. At the same time, not really. Um, I just didn't want to have to go through all the like ledge grabbing and all that stuff. But yeah, look, if you've made it through there, cool. Um, we want to drop down here and go down the bottom door. There we are. And I'll defeat this enemy. And I'm just going to cut it here because this is where um, this sort of meets from my original take and this one. So, yeah, I'll take it back over to my original. Make sure that door's open. Just use the, um, use the twisty thing, you know. <laughs> And just follow me. So take a right here. What I might do is I might use use of gun to help me see further. Now look, I know there's a better route of this, but this is just going off, you know, batshit memory. Uh, we want to go right, I think. Yeah. And then we'll take a left. Go right. Right again, and we'll go straight from there until we get to the end. So this is the end here. Just head up. 
Yeah, I've got a few enemies there, that's okay. If you can avoid them, then good shit. Uh, take this route. And where that waterfall is, we want to jump down there. And take a right. So I thought I'd get that first try, but obviously not. <laughs> Alright, head down here. We're going to take another swim, but it's not going to be as long this time. Uh, now we're in the open area. We're stuck the head up, so we know where we're going. Right in front. Perfect. Now the bear is behind that gate here. If you're going through f first playthrough, you're sort of thinking, you know, this, there's got to be a way to get over there. And sure enough, there is. It's very, very tricky. At least to, to find on your own. But... You know, I'm here to show you how to do it. <laughs> so yeah, climb up the top here, and we're going to FPS mode, and just shoot the shoot along the wall here, just around this end. And you can sort of see that up the top, it just goes through. So you can go through there. Um, now, how do we get over there? We want this is going to take a fair bit of trial and error, but we want to hop on this black rail here and then jump off of that. So let's see if we can get a first try. There we go. Easy. <laughs> um, yep, so head over behind, and in the little crevice here, you'll find the bear. Now, if you're going to go through the rest of the level, you're not trapped. Just walk out, and you're good. But you can't go back in. <laughs> um, but that said, that's all, that's all clean and done. Um, Cathedral of Pain. Now there is a there is a bear here, and you are going to struggle. I know I did. And look, it's going to be the last time we head over to the Cathedral of Pain. We've done all the live side stuff, so if you're sick of this, then you know what, just suck it up one more time, and we'll be all good. Now we want to head over. To, we want to head over to Jack's area. So it's the one after Milton. Yeah, get rid of these guys. Oh, it's only the one. That's all good. Now, I highly recommend saving, especially as you go. Um, so, do a save point here. Um, save point here. Now, the instructions that I read, um, like, it looked fairly easy, but I, it did specify, like, which angle to come from. But you want to go right in front. So, we'll take a big jump. Um, and we want to, yeah, land on that rope. So, where I'm angled here. Oh, yeah, here. Big jump. Walk along it. You'll be set. Just don't run anymore. Like, for one second. Now, carefully make your way over. And we want to jump right here. There we go. Now, if you're up there, save. Just walk along. Now, the bear is down the slope here. You can barely make it out. Um, on the right hand side. Now do save here, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while to you know get the hang of it. But I think we just wanna jump from here and we'll be able to slide down. There we go. So we've got twelve maps done out of twenty. Fantastic. Engine block. Now don't go to the don't go to the spawn point. Um, while we're here in Jack's area, we want to go through Jack's location. So, actually, you know what, instead of going from the entrance, let's go to the teddy bear point. Now, the reason why for this is after you've finished the Jack fight, you've got the prism, and you've opened the door to the engine area on his end. Um, that's pretty much where that bear is. Now, you know what, I'm just going to fast forward this until we do get to it.
You know, I just realized something. I completely lied when I said that we were done with live side. <laughs> I think I made that point. Um, when was it? Yeah, when I finished with um, Marco's Yard. I didn't exactly think that, you know, I need to go through Jack to, um, to get the engine block bare. But you know what, whatever. Um, now we're here, um, just head over to this other side and we want to climb up, yep, so those stairs there. Um, as I said, just regular means of getting to Jack. Uh, you know what, that was a mistake. Um, sorry about that, I thought that was a little bit of a shortcut. Alright, we're in the jack fight area. Um, let's head to the left. Head straight. You know, it may have been easier going from the right hand side, but whatever. Um, we see the door here. Um, so you've got the diagonal columns there. So. Yeah, when you see those, head straight to the door. And we've got the prism gate right there, jump over. Sweet! Um, yep, so jump through this little door here, that should be unlocked. Now, I'm just going to point it out, it's in this room here. Now, how do we get to it? Um, well, first of all, let's kill this guy. It's got nothing to do with how to get to it, but I figured, why then, Why not? I'm, I'm right here. Um, we want to go around. And let's climb up here. Alright, this one's going to be a little bit, I guess... Slightly more complicated. Like, more than it really should be. Oh, come on, die. There we go. Anyway, what we want to do, jump up, and we want to keep running towards it. And then, if you're confident enough, just do one forward roll, and we should be in between the gate and the machine. So let's do it now. There we go. Oh. There we go, one roll, and we're there. Jump over, and it's in it's in the machine. So when that little bit comes out, just enter it, and we'll be set. There we go. Now don't worry, you're not going to get crushed. It gives you a bit of space. Now that we've got that, um, Temple of Fire. Um, now I've got to remember how to get that one. Well, let's head over there anyway. When I work it out, I'll skip over and hopefully save you a lot of trouble. Alright, Temple of Fire. Um, 
Now, honestly, you've got two ways of getting to this. So either go through the Paths of Shadow, or from the Teddy Bear Point, which I'm going to show you, we want to go backwards. We want to head over to the very, very beginning of the level. Okay, you didn't touch me. I call bullshit. You didn't touch me either. What the fuck? Anyway. Keep backtracking. Uh, this way. Here we go. Alright. Be careful not to actually exit the level. If you need to, save right here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna side roll to the side there. But enough yeah, enough to the point we don't trigger the cutscene to exit the exit the area. So maybe like that. No, see that yeah, that was bad. Head back over. Yeah, same thing. No, it, it, it's doing it again. You'll you'll get it eventually. Come on, there we go. That's the ticket. Now keep going backwards. And the bear is right at the very end. Oh, uh, yeah, you'll find it just walk normally. But there we go. As I said, it's very, very easy to miss this one. Like, you wouldn't even think of it. I'd say it's the most well hidden bear. Um, Cageway time. Now. This one's same, it's going to be the same business as Temple of Fire. Um, we want to go backwards. Um, so we want to take the train back to, um, well, the previous area. <laughs> and we actually want to ride the train up. So, uh, I can get rid of you now. So head over to the back of the train. Because you can't exit where you came from. There we go. Um, feel free to save as you go, because it's going to be a fair bit tricky to, to execute all together. But we want to land on the light here, so you can either go left or right. Um, but yeah, jump onto the, the headlights. And we want to jump on top of the train. So... Like... It's... I don't know, you, you can slide off. So I'd say just save here and then jump up. Now the way I do it is I wait until the smoke comes out, stops, and then yeah, so land on top and want to jump to the side, that little corner there. I'll wait for that to finish up. There we go. Jump over. I barely made it. Um, but yeah, climb up top, and the bear is right there waiting for you behind. Alright, welcome to the playrooms. Um, now, I'm just going to point out, I did die right before this. So that's why there's a little like health thing there. Um, I'm just going to take care of you, because I don't want to die again. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, so we want to go backwards from where the bear point was, and we want to head up to the top here. Now, dive down, um, shoot this little entrance thing there so we can progress through the level further. Um, avoid that blade, and that one too, and that one three. Now, left or right doesn't matter. I'm going to go right because it's a little bit closer. And the reason why I say it's closer is because we want to head up 
to this um, little um, exit hole. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. You can go die. Thank you very much. Uh, keep progressing through this way and you'll get to um, an opening area, so right here. Um, let's dive down. Yeah, we don't want to go down the front there. We want to head down further. Um, it's the other um, little exit. Uh, head to the right. Oh no, it's, it's this way. I'm... I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, jump up top. And literally just follow this through. I'll have my shadow gun ready because there are going to be a few mutated dog or monkey things waiting. That's a blade. Yep, cool. There they are. Let's get rid of them. Don't go too far. Um, it's this still right here? So where the pool table is. Uh, we'll take care of you. Now... You know how I said that I do recommend you've gone through the game beforehand before going through all these bears? Um, so the port, the portal here is not going to activate until you defeat the, the true form that's in this level. So you should have already done that. Um, just wait here for a few seconds. I think it'll be like 10 or something like that. But just stay still, don't touch anything. Eventually you'll be teleported over to another area. Just like that. Um, and... Hey, look behind you. That's a bear. Now, I know there were people asking in the Steam forums, like, you know, is this portal still working? Yes, it is, as of 1.4. I don't know if they're going to be changing it up again. I don't want to think about it at the moment. <laughs> um, but... As of 1.4, yep, still working. Um, now that that's done, let's head over to the Temple of Prophecy. Now, Temple of Prophecy, there are two ways of getting to this. Um, I'm going to show you the quicker way. Because I'm assuming that you've already dropped that box down. Because that's exactly what you need to do to get over there. Now, I'll need the baton out. Use that to go to the area. Now, again, I explained this in a separate video. Because this was one of the ones that changed between 1.3 and 1.4. And I'm just going to show off what changed. I don't think I did that in the other video. But, alright. So the old method was to um, yeah, head up the top here and we want to climb up to that beam there, but they've updated it, so anything that looked climbable, that was climbable before, you can't grab onto anymore. So I'm just going to do it now. Yeah, you, you can't grab onto that anymore. So the new method is we want to head up there. Now wait for the hammer to come back this way and just jump on, we want to jump on the wood. And now you are going to take some damage, so make sure you are, well, you've got enough to make it through. Um, if you do need, um, save before you attempt it. Alright, that didn't like me. Um, I'll keep it going until I do eventually get it. There we go. Um, slide to the right so you're not taking any more damage. And... So we want to jump up, and I'm just going to try... There's the bear. Jump up, we've got it there, nice and easy. Um, I should mention too, I'm just going to quickly drop back down. Um, don't do just the regular jump like going forward, do the big jump. It's the same one as I did for Louisiana. And then just go forward and you grab onto the ledge. Um, so, this is the last one. This is the last unchanged method of getting the bear. 
So I'll head to the Lava Ducks now. I'll review over how exactly to get it, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, Lava Duck time. Um, be aware of the... Are you okay there? Okay, I'm just going to ignore that plea for help. Um, we're going to head over to um, the second lot of um, stairs there. Sweet. I'm just going to grab that because I need it. <laughs> uh, yeah, come down the stairs and you'll find an area where there are a few enemies waiting for you. So I'd recommend just taking care of them first before advancing further. Sweet. Um, yeah, come out to the left and come up the stairs here. Now, it's in this area. Um, climb up the top there. Um, this may take me a while, but... Just, I'll, you know, I'm trying to make it as quick as I can without embarrassing myself. Cool, now we're up to the top. Um, climb up. Now we don't want to go... We don't want to go into there, we want to keep going forward. Yep, head on the very end, and we'll take a left, and we want to land... there. Now... Do you save if you need to, I'm not going to personally, um, but we're going to latch onto the edge there. So there's a bit that you can latch onto, um, so I'll do that now. Or not. Let's try that again. There we go. So we just barely got on there. Um, but now that you've latched on, um, keep going a fair bit. And you can notice there's a... So that beam there is lower. So it's all along here. You climb up, and that's another invisible wall. Down the end there, you've got the bear, and we're all set. I'm just going to say, that took me way too many tries to do with that loading. So, <laughs> I'm personally glad that that's over. Um, anyway, we've got two levels to go. Uh, we've got the Temple of Blood, and... I, I'm going to say Forgo Meters from now on, because I feel like like it sounds better to um, pronunciate than Forgometers. So anyway, um, Temple of Blood, head there. Um, these the last two I already showcased in my last video, however, I'm just going to go through them again, just for the sake of having them all in the, in the one place. So, left or right, doesn't matter, I'm going right again. Um, don't fall in. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back up, pretend that never happened. Interesting. Okay. Never had that happen. Alright, easy. So, other side is normal. Um, head down the end. Um, but don't progress any further than that. We want to come back this way, but we don't we don't want to climb over, we want to jump over to where that light is. So I recommend saving here, because... I don't know, 50-50 you're going to be falling down back into the water there. 
but personally, not going to save, jump over, run along the wall. Like, as soon as you land, turn that camera over so you're facing the wall there. Um, position yourself to the light, jump up, you'll be on top of the light now, jump up again, and you're latching onto the ceiling. Nicely done. Um, progress over, we've got the sisters waiting there. Um, in my last video, I had to take them down, so I'll do that again. Alright, they're all down, finally. Um, I mentioned in my last video, just save at each point, I recommend that again. But, provided that you have, jump down to the hand here, and we'll climb this up. Wait, why is it not letting me climb up? I must not have activated something. Alright, um... Alright, so I'm, I'm back. Um, so what you need to do... is go to the left-hand side, and you'll make sure you've activated all of the blood waterfalls. Um... So it's the first, so the first button you press when you get to the um, little sectional area with the wooden, the wooden wheel. So press that button and it's the right, it's the right hand one, so the right hand path. You just have to activate all the blood waterfalls and that will include these hand ones in the statues. So once you've done that, um, that's something I personally forgot to do or didn't get around to doing in, in this save file, but this is provided you have already done that. Um, Otherwise, you know, how are you going to get to this bear? So now that's done, um, yeah, climb up this either left or right hand side. Um, jump over to where that light is, and then as you land, turn your camera over, like facing the wall, and keep running. Jump on the light, jump on the ceiling there, clash onto it, and you're golden. Um, so, same route as in the other video. And... Yeah, you can't forget these. Cool. Um, so now they're all they're all taken down. They're not going to be any more of a disruption. Um, head down to the hand, and we'll climb up this um, arm here. So that's why I said to activate all of the blood waterfalls on the left hand side because this this is a hidden blood waterfall. It's a bit of a climber, but once you get to the top, I'll just realign myself to the center there. Um, just keep saving as you go, as I outlined in my last video. Um, the same biz. There we go. And then the bear is right here. Jump up, and roll set. And now we've got one last one to go. And that's the Fogo meters. Alright, we're onto the Fogo meters. Um, I'm gonna get my flambeau going because I need a bit of light. But we wanna head up here. I'll just get rid of these guys first. Where are you going? Um, now, I'm just gonna point out there is a blood waterfall, like a hidden blood waterfall. Um, this is not the way to go, sorry. Um, up here. So yeah, there's a hidden blood waterfall and we just go up. Um, I honestly can't remember if that's something you need to activate. Um, like if there's a button for it. Like if there are any other, um, blood waterfalls in the level. But, either way, um, just... You just want to complete the whole level. Um... Just go to these guys first. I guess, um... Yeah, just do all you can. And just pray that it is activated. It may just be a post-game thing. I've got no idea, but... You know what? We'll, we'll, take, th we'll take these guys all down, because if they're going to be... If they're going to keep shooting, um... It's going to be impossible to get up. Oh, it's done. Climb up here. And it's just in this room. So we want to climb up to that fan blade. Just got it. 
and just keep running over to this wall here until you do get to a waterfall. There we go. You'll find it eventually, but um, yeah, so climb up. Um, it looks like a long way to go, but it's not as bad. There's, a, there's an invisible wall you um you climb into. It should be right about here. Yeah, there we go. So climb in, walk in through, and you'll find the bear right in front of you. And once you've found all of them, you'll find a new weapon. Bloody teddy bear. Now I'm actually going to go outside and try this, because I haven't put it into action yet. I'll go down to where there are some more enemies. They're right here. There we go. It's... It's a bit of a... Bit of an iffy one, but anyway. Those are all of the Teddy Bear locations for Shadow Man Remastered version 1.4. Um, if I'm still like hardcore into the game when there's an update and the bears have moved, I'll do another video just showing off where the new locations are. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope this was all very helpful. And yeah, catch you later.